We are back right now with the rising costs of child care, increasing an average of 25% just in the past year. And getting your child into a facility, that's more difficult than ever. Fox SA Stephanie Esquivel looks into why there is not much availability and whether there's any relief in sight. We are in a waiting list. It, it just depends what age group. Infants are always the first to fill up, infants and toddlers. And we categorize infants from six weeks to 18 months. Those waiting lists can last anywhere from 30 days to a year. Cassandra Solis, director of Kitty Corner Academy, tells me parents having babies this summer may have to wait a while to enroll their child. Part of the reason, there are no workers. That we cannot get staff, so it makes us have to close down classrooms or minimize our enrollment just to sustain what we have available with the staff in place. This information is from county health rankings and roadmaps. It's a visual of the shortage of child care in Bear County. For every thousand children under the age of five, Bear County has four child care centers. In Texas, there are five, and nationally, there's an average of seven. The number of centers not keeping up with the growing population and uh, the, the fact that we have a, a higher number of, of children per population, all those are kind of like a, um, a tremendously um, difficult uh, mixture for child care. University of the Incarnate Word professor David Bequist says these factors are also part of the reason child care costs have also increased up to 25% in the past year. So what does the future of child care costs look like? Viqua says many things will have to change for prices to start trending down. For uh, private businesses getting into it, perhaps providing services that are um, more affordable, it, it's going to take uh, some innovation and some changes in demographics uh, before things can get probably much better. Stephanie Esquivel for Fox SA.